Here we go. <laughs> this is cool. There's a theme of collapse here. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a lot of things. I am looking, I kind of, I don't know why, but the thought came to mind observing, <clears throat> I don't know why I said it that way, observing from afar, kind of like looking at a structure, but more so involving, you know, uh, well, I mean, everything is relationship, as Teal Swan said, of course, Every, everything, everything is relationship. Um, everything your 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 relationship to people your relationship to a fucking stone a tree whatever it is everything entails relationship but what what i'm looking at right now is <clears throat> being the observer of dynamics that you're seeing clearly in fine and full detail and kind of like just removing yourself you know just being like a like a, a fucking fly like you know just like chilling on the fucking wall and like oh oh okay <laughs> like that's that's where i am right now it's really cool to be the observer it's really cool to be the observer really fucking cool to be the observer and just like not be not 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 playing the part you used to play i'm i'm literally watching one of the biggest probably the biggest areas of my life um, well, I should say one of the top biggest areas of my life fucking crumble to the ground and it's fucking crazy um, <clears throat> And uh, my sweetheart She and I talk about it a lot And it's just <laughs> it's, it's it's crazy to be here. I feel like there are massive shifts happening in, like biggest the biggest shifts I've ever seen before happening in my life right now and it's fucking cool to just, like, see it from afar and, like, not get sucked into it because there are, there are energies pulling me back in while I'm trying to be like, nope, 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 nope. And this is what I was talking about regarding individuation and differentiation. Um, and it kind of reminds me of, uh, there's this term in sociology called deviation and it's a matter of doing things differently. Uh, growing up, I kind of like considered myself the black sheep of my family. Um, I do not, I do not obey. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a deviator. I don't give a fuck what is or what you think it should be. I give a fuck what I want to do. And that's the really cool thing about boundaries is that you get to set you, you get to set boundaries for yourself and you get to kind of just like you get to really sit in your own frame once you set those boundaries. But you've got to be good at not only setting boundaries and maintaining boundaries and that entails really bringing all of your energy back to yourself like which is what I've been doing. Um and what I've been talking to my sweetheart about. And that's the other thing too. I have spent my entire life putting my energy outside of me and focusing a lot on that, like a lot, a lot. And I'm just realizing it doesn't work for me anymore. Again, because I'm seeing things clearly in full and fine, clear detail. I already said clearly, so I don't need to, anyway. Um, so the benefit of that is just you know i mean yeah there's gonna be a whole lot of oh fuck <laughs> like there's gonna be a whole lot of that but then after that there's gonna be a lot of i'm not there anymore nope i am not i'm not involving myself in that fucking shit show of a titanic that's fucking falling apart right in front of my face and yeah they're they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna cycle this they're gonna recycle this over and over and over again and it's, it's like fucking Groundhog Day. Imagine experiencing a system that is literally in collapse on Groundhog Day. Like, like over and over and over. Like that movie with, um, I don't, what's, what's the, f Bill Murray, I think it is, in Groundhog Day. Same thing, over and over and over and over again. And 
you spent years trying to fucking save it from drowning after it fucking hit the Titan. I mean, after it fucking hit the iceberg, you know, and you can't do shit about it. You never could do shit about it. And then you realize after all that you exerted a fuck ton of energy into things that were never your responsibility. Uh, literally quoted by my psychologist. <laughs> he told me to my face the one session, he was like, my friend, you have exerted a fuck ton of energy into things that are not, that are not only irrelevant, but are also not your responsibility and never were your responsibility. Um, and so like, kind of like taking myself out of that stuff, it's just like, okay, well, I have all of this energy now to take back on me. I have all this time to bring back to myself to do whatever the fuck I want to with. And yeah, it's just, it's really fucking cool to be here. It's really fucking cool to be here. So basically what I'm looking at now is a path forward that consists of me entirely bringing my energy back to myself and focusing entirely on myself and yes i've been called selfish i've been called this that and the other i don't give a fuck what i won't be down the line in the long run is unhappy that is what i will not settle for <laughs> so you can call me whatever the fuck you want you can you know it, it, it doesn't it, it's not gonna it's not gonna touch me it's not gonna touch me What's going to touch me is serious, deep fucking regret and unhappiness later on down the line. I will not settle for that. Um, but yeah, what I'm feeling is that I've got to go even deeper into my healing. Um, I mean, it's not really a matter of going deeper. I should say I've got to be more present with my healing. Um, something that I've kind of learned to do is distract myself from my thoughts and feelings. And I think that we've all been you know we, we've all been well on our way to being professionals at that whether it's you know sitting on our phones or um you know on social media swiping scrolling whatever it is when in reality there's an entire universe within us that is being um ignored and the more we ignore that the the less we'll know about ourselves the less we will know ourselves um and you know, it, it's it's interesting because I spent like my entire life growing up just focusing on everyone else, just focusing on everyone else's shit. Literally, 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 literally. Um, and I can't do that anymore because one, I'm tr I, I, it is my intention to self-actualize. <laughs> I was gonna say I want to self-actualize. I'm trying to self-actualize. Um, but no, I'm stepping outside of desire and into action and intention. It is my intention to, to uh, self-actualize. And when I say that, I mean, yes, become my greatest version. Um, and I know I have the capacity to do so and therefore I'm going to do it. But what's interesting is that I'm looking at dynamics now of myself that are like, oh, okay. So you're still not entirely present with your thoughts and feelings. When, by the way, you don't always have to be. Um, if you're in the middle of doing something and a fucking thought arises, it's like, okay, I will take care of you later. You're a fucking, as my psychologist said, like a ping pong ball just bouncing back and forth on my fucking mind. Um, and then it's like, okay, I got you. Let's do something with you. Um, feel it. Obviously, to heal, you need to feel. Uh, feel it to heal it. Um, and that's not easy. That's not easy at all. We all have our shit. Um, that's just the reality of it. We all have our shit and our shit is not going anywhere unless we do something with it. And the more that we kind of like resist that, the more that we kind of like avoid that and just, oh yeah, by the way, um, on the subject of healing and this, that, and the other, and trying to take care of other people's shit, um, just because you stop focusing on your shit and start focusing on other people's shit does not mean that your shit's gonna go away. Like, if you're just like, not today, not today, not today, over and over again, your shit's not gonna go away. <laughs> it's just gonna get worse. It's just gonna build up, it's just gonna expand, and one day it's actually going to kick you in the ass out the fucking door with a, with a fucking reality check on multiple levels. Um, relationships, personal shit, uh, things, whatever the fuck it is, it's going to show you the reality of everything. Um, 
And if you do not take care of your shit, it will fuck up your relationships. Because you will end up pursuing those patterns, those unhealthy patterns that fuck you up and it will expose you in those ways. And then, yeah, that's just the way that it is. So you got to take care of your shit. You've got to sit with it. You've got to feel it. You've got to process it. And that's all. But what's interesting, and this is something that I've been noticing as I've been doing my healing, because literally everyone is fucking focusing on me now, because I've taken my energy back on myself. I've taken my, my time, my awareness, and my energy back on myself. So everyone is like, what the fuck is he doing? What the what who the fuck does he think like all this that and the other and it's hilarious to watch because it's like it's like okay so now i'm realizing that i was part of a system that is just solely focused on everyone else because they can't be okay unless everyone else is okay and it's like wow okay anyway um but it's also like i'm seeing things clearly in fine detail and it's like oh okay so yeah they're reporting stuff on the news but at the same time it's a fucking distraction from your own life and that's comfortable as shit so you'll fucking vicariously watch the fucking world fall apart over there or you'll watch people's lives fall apart over fall apart over there and completely you know dismiss the fact that your life is falling apart and you're not doing shit about it so i feel like i don't want to live that way anymore and so the more i bring my energy back on myself the more i give myself the opportunity and the conscious space to actually do something with it Healing is not easy work, um, and not many, not not everyone's going to do it. There are there are people that are going to die with their shit. It's just the way that it is. Um, but yeah, it's it's crazy. Um, we all have shit. That's just the reality of it. But regarding how I feel, I I feel like I'm on the verge of something fucking massive like I said yesterday um and it's cool to fucking be here it's really fucking cool to be here because there's a lot of like oh shit this is fucking cool but there's a lot of also as my psychologist pointed out profound sadness because I'm literally watching a home that I've been used to metaphorically of course a home that I've been used to for the past three decades of my life collapsing to the fucking ground and I can't do shit about it and I'm not going to do shit about it. So there's a lot of like, it's it's kind of like, it's kind of like a lot of like, oh fuck, 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 fuck. But then at the same time, it's like, all right, energy back on myself, awareness back on myself, time back on myself. And then it's like, yeah, I'm gonna be very careful moving forward of who I give my time and energy to. Me first, see you guys my shit first um which a lot of people have a really fucking hard time doing um but uh yeah shout out to joseph campbell this is the hero's journey <laughs> i just wanted to end it that way um if you don't know who joseph campbell is um i highly recommend his work he he's he's a fantastic author he's no longer here with us but um I wonder if my sweetheart knows who Joseph Campbell is. I'd have to ask her. Anyway, just a random thought. That's it for today. Uh, <laughs> That's it for today, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping in. And uh, yeah, peace.